Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve question number 2, part 1 from exercise 3.6, chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the example problems, exercises 3.1, 3.2 and 3.4 and question 1 from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 2 from exercise 3.6, chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables says formulate the following problems as a pair of equations and hence find the solution. So this is the first part of the question which says Ritu can row down streams 20 kilometers in 2 hours and upstreams 4 kilometers in 2 hours. Find her speed of rowing in still water and speed of the current. So here they have given us a downstream and upstream so here they have given us ritu is rowing a boat downstream with a distance of 20 kilometers in two hours and she rows upstream four kilometers in two hours so we have to find the speed of rowing in still water and speed of the current so first of all let us understand what this downstream and upstream means stream is a water body which is flowing Okay, you have a water body which is flowing, then that water body is called as a stream. When there is still water, then the water is not flowing. And here the speed of current is determined. The speed with which the water flows is called as the speed of the current. Okay, so we have to determine speed of the current of flowing water and also we have to find out the speed of rowing in still water. So here downstream means whenever there is water flowing in one direction and we have a boat which is being rowed in the same direction. So if the boat is moving with x kilometers per hour and water is flowing with imagine y kilometers per hour then the speed of this boat increases because even the water is flowing in the same direction and the current of the water pushes the boat the speed of the boat also increases. So this condition is called as the downstream condition where the water and the boat is moving in the same direction and here the speed adds up that is the speed is given by x plus y kilometers per hour in downstream. Similarly in upstream if you see here the water is flowing in one direction but the boat will be moving in opposite direction. Okay, if the boat is moving with x kilometers per hour and water is flowing with a speed of y kilometers per hour, here, here the flow of water is against the moving boat. Therefore, the speed of boat is reduced because the water is flowing in one direction and the boat is moving in the opposite direction. Therefore, the current of water stops the boat or it adds resistance to the moving boat. Therefore, here in upstream the speed of the boat reduces which becomes x minus y kilometers per hour so this is how we write the speed in downstream and upstream so here since we have to find out the speed of rowing in still water and we have to find out the speed of the current so let us assume them to be x kilometers and y kilometers respectively. So write down let the speed of boat in still water be x kilometers per hour. Okay and speed of current be y kilometers per hour. So here they have given us the first condition as Ritu can row downstreams. 20 kilometers in 2 hours. So here they have given us the distance as 20 kilometers. Time is 2 hours and the speed is downstream. So what will be the speed? It will be x plus y kilometers per hour. We also know the formula for time, distance and speed which can be written as time equal to distance by speed. Right? So using this here we can write down time taken to cover 20 kilometers downstream is equal to how much it is given as 2 hours. So applying this formula what was the time given? Time is equal to 2 equal to distance is 20 kilometers divided by 
speed we are considering downstream so the speed will be x plus y so let us now simplify this equation send this x plus y to left hand side and bring this 2 to right hand side okay so this will be x plus y equal to 20 by 2 what was in the denominator goes to the numerator and what was in the numerator comes to the denominator when send this from left hand side to right hand side okay so cancelling to 1 times to 10 times so therefore we get the first equation as x plus y equal to 10 so let this be equation number 1 and also we can see that it is in the standard form of a linear pair of linear equation which is given by ax plus by plus c equal to 0 where the variables are in both in the numerator so this satisfies the standard form of linear equation okay so now coming back to the second condition it is given as and in upstream it travels 4 kilometers in 2 hours okay so same way we will write down here time taken to cover 4 kilometers equal to again 2 hours right so apply time distance by speed formula so time is equal to distance by speed here time is again 2 equal to distance is 4 kilometer divided by here we are considering upstream so the speed of upstream is given by x minus y kilometers per hour so this will be x minus y again sending x minus y to left hand side and bringing this 2 to right hand side you get x minus y equal to 4 by 2 cancelling to 1 times to 2 times therefore we get the second equation as x minus y equal to so let this be equation number 2. Again this is in the standard form of a linear equation given by ax plus by plus equal to 0. So here we got two equations with the two given conditions. We will apply here the elimination method and then we will find out x and y value. Okay. So apply elimination method to equations 1 and 2. Right. Equation 1 is given by x plus y equal to 10 and equation 2 is given by x minus y equal to the coefficient of y variable is 1 and also the signs are plus and minus so directly we can eliminate the y variable so plus x and plus x will become 2x equal to 10 plus 2 is 12 okay here we are adding because both are plus sign 2x is equal to 12 or x is equal to 12 by 2 cancelling to 1 times to 6 times so we get x value as equal to 6 now let us substitute this x value in equation 1 and find out the y value. So write down substitute x equal to 6 in equation 1. So we have x plus y equal to 10. 6 plus y equal to 10. Sending this 6 to right hand side we get y is equal to 10 minus 6 or y is equal to 4. So what we had assumed x and y value initially x is the speed of boat in still water and y is the speed of current so therefore you can write answer as hence the speed of boat in still water is 6 kilometers per hour and speed of current is equal to y that is 4 kilometers per hour so this is very easy problem and it is also very important one unless you understand this term downstream and upstream which is very important to solve these kinds of problem so if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving part 2 question number 2 from exercise 3.6 chapter 3 pair of linear equations and two variables so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc and cert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen thank you